Thomas the Wind Show, epi episode 10, Cody and the Mountain Coach. The engines were having a rough summer on the island of Sodor. There was a shortage of coaches. And they needed more coaches. My bust my buffer, said Scarloe. What a what a day. So many passengers. I don't mind, said Duncan. I I just want to get the passengers to wherever they want to go. Each year Sir Topham Hat would worry ab about the so many passengers. Come. Come on. Nah. Now you all know what to do. And be, and be on time without any confusion or delay. You can go. And so Scarloe and Duncan hopped off. spent the night with the narrow gauge engines to help out with with the to help out with to help out with to help out with the passengers the next morning <coughs> oh no said Duncan here we go Coldy liked to talk about his days on the Coldy Fair Railway you know said, said Coldy these days remind me of the old Days of of having a coach of having a coach of mine named Catherine. Us mountain mountain engines like my like myself would push a, would push would push our coaches to watch the line for us.
without any confusion or delay. Well, it's time. It's time to get some sleep. It's like, it's like And he went into the shed. And he went into the shed. Sits her top of my hat. I still, I still don't know how I'm going, how we're gonna get more coaches. Then Duncan woke up overhearing Sir Topham Hat. I know, sir, said Duncan, how to get some more coaches. A coach that, a coach that, ru that runs on a mountain railway. A mountain. You mean the mountain coach that's your top of hat? Go on. So Duncan told your top of hat about about how mountain engines push their coaches up without any confusion or delay. And the next morning, the engines were. Cody was surprised that the engines saw a mountain coach. My, my mountain coach, Catherine, he said. Come have a look. Now, said your top of hat, I brought, I brought this mountain coach from the mainland to, to help out. To help out without any confusion or delay. But, however, it wasn't my idea. It was Duncan's idea. What? said Cody. That's right. That's right, said, said Duncan. I'll get these passengers to, to wherever they, they need to go on time. Without any confusion or delay. And he, and he, he popped off, pushing Catherine. Everyone off to their job, said your top and pat. Now, make sure to get everyone in this coach. And so the passengers did. And don't get set off. Coldy was feeling very sad. And Catherine wasn't sure what what Duncan was doing. And Duncan liked it when everyone was cheering for him, pushing Catherine. Be careful, be careful, Duncan said. Coley, you know that the passengers don't like to be bounced around like peas in the frying pan. Yes, thank you, Coley said. Said Duncan. So I went up the hill and went down too fast. I went down so fast, I, I raced to Timmas Station. All of the passengers weren't hurt by it, that they got out complaining about how, what a bad railway it was. Sir Topham Hat, however, was cross. This, this coach was a bad idea, said Sir Topham Hat. The, the, she just, the passengers just get used to, said Duncan. Maybe I can help, sir," said Coldy. "You, you, Coldy," said your top man. "Yes," said Coldy. "Yeah, hello, Coldy," said Cap.